Excuse me. I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty, solitary strangers. <laughs> I don't intend to hang around long, brother. I'm traveling with an old man, Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. <sighs> ah, can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, 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 never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our Lord and Patriarch. <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our Patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> you couldn't help me, could you, please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our Patriarch yonder, in the monastery. You say that I could find someone to help me, up there, at the monastery? Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. I must absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister, that is all. Down here, there are some doctors, and others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. Do you hear? It is the Merula Alba again. Why won't you help me? I must finish my chores before even song, my sister. What is a Merula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears, and his intelligence grows and grows. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me, what have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules, rules and traditions to respect here. Respect! <laughs> what rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay, so how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it is... it is not a question to ask, my sister. 
You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin, like the birds. Erythacus rubecula, picus viridis, merula alba. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> Pretty birds. Pretty birds. Picus viridis? Woodpecker. How about Erythacus rubicula? Uh, robin red breast. And Merula alba? White raven, my sister. Femina in consensus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. It... Right. I get it. Because I'm a woman, I'm forbidden access to the monastery. Now I understand. That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? I'm going now. I'll be back soon. What? Colonel? Ah, Miss Walker. Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker.
You hear? You hear? The Merula Alba. It is calling to me. Calling to me. Hello? Anybody there? Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me. But I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very... troubling. Please leave quickly. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that- We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. My friend is named Hans Vorlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automatons soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why... We here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He felt... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will.
My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. That's our man. He's got some. Canton? I can barely hear you. Mr. Martin. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out a viral bad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but... Uh, what? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Uh, how do you say it? Differently. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must Believe me, my child. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil, and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look. Contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! 
No! <coughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilan, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei... He can treat me. Hans, do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass! <laughs> So you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> it seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukuls know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy. Hey, you like to eavesdrop? Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. Ha, 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 and what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis Homo Mendax. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> More's ultima ratio. Hello, Father. Hello, my child. You really can't do anything for Hans? His destiny is not in mortal hands. We must pray, dear girl. Pray for his redemption. But Hans has no reason to repent. His fever-driven outpourings are not those of a holy man. Oh, far from it. Hans Varlberg is not a sinner. 
the pagan fantasies with which he sullies the air in his delirium are those of a heretic. Pray, female, pray to save your friend from the sizzling fires of hell. You, you're a total crackpot. You're a fanatic. I will talk to Hans, you hear? I talk to Hans. Yes. He seems better. It is but an illusion, my girl. His mortality is teetering on the brink. I know about these things. He told me about a monk who could help him. And what monk might that be, Miss Walker? A monk who has spent long years with the Yukols, that mysterious tribe from the far north. Uh, your friend is clearly very sick, my poor child. Father, do you know a man named Alexei Tukianov? He was a heretic and charlatan. He is not worth the breath, my girl. It seems Hans Varlberg considers him highly. Your friend must have lost his marbles. But could I just meet the man anyway? No. Alexei Tukianov has left us. A long time ago, Miss Walker. Excuse my insistence, Father, but where might I be able to find Alexei Tukianov? It's very important. Alexei Tukianov is dead, my girl. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace! We absolutely must continue our journey. We must. Don't even think about it, child. Mr. Vorlberg is in no fit state. Hans Varlberg is going to see his dream come true. You hear me? Wretched girl. His dreams are almost at an end and there is nothing you can do. Hans often told me about the mysterious people of the far north, the Yukels. They are degenerate heathen savages that worship idols and false gods and resist the redemption of the Lord. Hans lived among them for a long time. They're like a second family to him. Please, dear girl, do not let yourself succumb to the quaint temptations of those pagans. Their only ambition is to wallow in their so-called primitive paradise, and all its lechery and bestiality. Remember that those who live far from God doom themselves to eternal chastisement. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> What on earth is that?
I need something else to activate it. How's it going? Kate, okay. Yes. What am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Can you walk? <sighs> I'd like to, but... <sighs> Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here. Some kind of symbol.
Hmm, it's kind of steep. But with the sled, I could slide down the slope. Let's go. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. <laughs> 